I am a member of both Bikers of Less Tolerance, and I can't tell you how much I have learned from that think tank. It's not a club. It's a, it's a think tank of activists who, I guess it started off with them protesting the helmet law. And really, the helmet law is just not about saving lives one iota. It's all about giving cops probable cause to detain you. If they don't like your helmet and you're in a state that requires you to wear a helmet, they will use that as an excuse to detain you. And and if you're wearing a, a patch that they don't recognize, right away they're going to find any reason. They're going to lie. They're going to say you weaved or you were speeding, I paced you. And if your word against them, I've seen this firsthand. And, and when it comes time to go to court, the judge is always going to side with the cop because they have an incestuous relationship, that never-ending relationship between the cop and the prosecutors, even the defense attorneys, and the judges. They, they're all in bed with each other. It's really good. Swearing to God doesn't mean anything. Swearing on the Bible doesn't mean anything. You know why? Because Bible or no Bible, God or no God, if it suits their purposes, people are going to lie in court. The police do it all the time. All the time. It's part of their job to protect, to serve, and to commit perjury whenever it supports the state's case. Swearing on the Bible is just one more way of controlling people and keeping them in line, and it's one more thing that holds us back as a species.